Welcome to the Man and Market Show. I'm Charles Board, your host. Now, quite some interesting news we're getting from Minister of Finance about Uganda's growth. Of course, contrary to what many in business assume or believe that actually the economy is doing bad, uh, mainly because of subdued demand. According to the Permanent Secretary of Minister of Finance, the economy is bound to grow by between 6 to 6.5 percent this financial year. Now, of course, the question many will be asking is, where is this growth coming from? Take a look. Uganda's economy has fully recovered from the various shocks, crises, and false alarms. You recall that when COVID-19 happened, leaders were told it would be worse than the financial crisis of 2008 and potentially as bad as the Great Depression of the 1930s. Instead, a fast and strong recovery has unfolded. GDP growth has registered 6% last financial year of 23-24, up from an average of 4.1% in the period between financial years 2019-20 and 2022-23. Remember that GDP growth had previously reduced to 3% in 2019-20. This impressive growth on account of higher growth in all sectors can be attributed to number one, the service sector, which grew by 6.6%, up from 5.9% the previous year, while industry grew by 5.8% up from 4% the previous year. Agriculture, forestry and fishery sector saw growth of 5.1% compared to 4.5% previously. So we have seen all sectors growing. This is in line with the recent trends in the high frequency indicators of economic activity. In financial year 23-24, which we just ended in last month, the Purchasing Managers Index averaged 52.7, uh, remaining above the 50% mark, the 50 mark threshold, and indicating an improvement in business conditions. The Business Tendency Index also remained above 50 mark threshold throughout the financial year, indicating optimism from investors about doing business in the Ugandan economy. Economic growth this financial year, 2024-25, is projected between 6 and 6.5 percent, rising above 7 percent in the subsequent years, driven by our 10-fold growth strategy. As my minister told you on the budget day, we are having a new strategy to grow the economy tenfold in the next 15 years and it is starting this financial year. This strategy is hinged on increased investment and growth in the agro industry, tourism development, mineral development including oil and gas activities and science, technology, and innovation, STI, including ICT. This is what we refer to as the ATMs of our growth strategy. I now turn to inflation and exchange rate. At 3.9% in June last month, inflation has been contained within the target, thanks to the strong coordination of monetary and fiscal policies. Uganda has sustained good food supply chains, leading to low food crop inflation. A key driver of inflation in Uganda and many other countries is food. That's why government invests strategically in supporting Ugandans to grow more food. Once you have food, bye-bye to inflation. So government has also implemented a proactive industrial policy 
that has helped to add value to agricultural and mineral commodities but also to replace some of the hitherto imported manufactured products as well as boosting export earnings. Manufactured products are increasingly becoming a significant contributor of Uganda's export earnings. In 2023, for example, Uganda exported cement worth $91.1 million, sugar, $75.8 million, plastics, $62.6 million, soap, $33.9 million, and beer, $25.8 million. The increased inflow of foreign exchange from these items and others has led to a relatively stable shilling. In the last quarter, the exchange rate has reduced to an average of 3,787 per US dollar last month from an average of 3,857 in March of this year. The commercial bank lending rate, interest rates for the shilling denominated loans has reduced to 17.7% in April this year compared to 19.3% in April last year, 2023. Interest rates in the domestic debt market have also remained broadly stable, averaging 11.2% on the one-year government treasury bills. Government is continuing with the provision of several funds to support micro-enterprises small medium enterprises, farmers, and large businesses to access investment capital that is patient and low. The approved budget for financial year 24-25, as my minister told you, amounted to 72.137 trillion shillings. And it is summarized as follows. Wage. 7.934 uh, trillion shillings, nanny wage, money which is given to institutions to support them to carry out government work, but also to invest in some of the activities which are not development in nature, but critical, buying medicine and so on. 13.633 trillion shillings. Government of Uganda Development Budget, 5.902 trillion shillings. External financing, these are monies we borrow, but also we get some grants for projects, particularly for projects. 9.583 trillion shillings. Debt and Treasury Operations, 34.589 trillion shillings. Domestic areas, 199.9 billion shillings. Local revenue, this is money the local authorities collect in the different villages of Uganda, 293.9 billion shillings. So the total is that 72.136, or you can round to 37 trillion shillings. Now, the government of Uganda discretionary budget, the one which we remain with after we've deducted the money for debt and the treasury operations, the money for projects, financing projects, external financing, as well as local revenue, because this is money belonging to the local authorities. Once we deduct all of that, the government discretionary budget is 27. 0.67 trillion shillings. We will now take a very short commercial break. Man and markets continues after this break.